You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Black and White Sports fans, if your name is Deshaun Watson, you are still not out of the clear criminally. As you guys know, a grand jury convened in Harris County in the Houston area. And they decided that they would not bring up criminal charges, bring criminal charges, I should say, on Deshaun Watson for misconduct. I'm going to clean it up here. However, guys, in Harris County, it was nine of 10 charges that would drop. There was actually one more. And the reason why that the one charge was actually dropped because this alleged crime did not actually occur in Harris County. It was actually in Bazoria County. So now Deshaun Watson still could actually face criminal prosecution on one charge. Now, Brazoria County is just south of Harris County. That's the Pearland, Lake Jackson and Angleton area. I'm very familiar with that area uh, down there. But uh, let's go ahead and check out this on Pro Football Talk. Another grand jury is considering a criminal complaint against Deshaun Watson. It's not over yet, folks. So we'll have to see what happens. Uh, Mike Florio, I believe, wrote this. Yes, Florio wrote this on Pro Football Talk. Yes, Deshaun Watson could face criminal charges, still face criminal charges. 13 days after a Houston grand jury declined to indict the Browns quarterback on nine criminal complaints. Another Texas grand jury is considering another criminal complaint against Watson. As reported by Jenny Ferentas of the New York Times, lawyer Tony Busby says that a grand jury in Bazoria County is considering a criminal complaint from a woman who alleged some horrific things that I can't even read right here on YouTube because we'll get demonetized. Per Busby, a decision is expected today or tomorrow. The complaint originally was one of 10 filed with the Houston Police Department. However, it was determined that the alleged misconduct occurred beyond the jurisdiction of the Harris County District Attorney. The complaint in the pending criminal case is one of the 22 women who have filed civil lawsuits against Deshaun Watson. So this isn't a new lady. This is one of the um, original uh, 22 ladies here. On March 11th, the same day, the Harris County Grand Jury considered nine criminal complaints. Watson invoked his Fifth Amendment right against self-incrimination in the first deposition session related to the 22 civil cases. The following week, Watson answered questions during a subsequent de deposition session, waiving his Fifth Amendment protection. The decision of the Harris County Grand Jury also sparked a land rush for Watson's contract. And we guys, we know now he is traded to the Cleveland Browns now. And I'm wondering, folks, since the Harris County Grand Jury did not indict him on criminal charges. What if he's actually indicted on this one criminal charge in Brazoria County? Think it is. How could that actually impact Deshaun Watson going forward? Now, we're still waiting on the NFL to lay down the hammer on whatever they're going to do with Deshaun Watson. Uh, a lot of people think that he'll probably end up being suspended for um, four, maybe six games that season. But now, if this grand jury in Brazoria County decides to indict him, his future is very, very bleak. Think of this, guys. He could actually probably end up sitting out again. I mean, the Cleveland Browns, they probably already knew this, that this was a possibility. Maybe they're going to roll the dice and say that, um, well, the Harris County Grand Jury said that um, they weren't going to prosecute. And I guess they're kind of rolling the dice that um, the Bazoria County Grand Jury uh, would not indict him. But we'll find out, guys. We'll actually update, update you guys on um, what's going to be happening next with Deshaun Watson. This thing is not over yet. He's going to be in trouble one way or the other because I believe that the NFL is going to lay down a hammer on him. They are. But we'll have to see what happens with this next grand jury. This kind of caught me by surprise. I didn't actually know about this, but um, if something happened beyond the jurisdiction of uh, Brazoria County, of actually uh, Harris County, I should say, and it happened in Brazoria County, which is right down the road, then, yeah, he's facing 
another possible uh, criminal case here. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Black and White Sports. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.